Welcome to the Nikon D5200 channel. We're going to start doing some videos shortly on the sort of kit you can get for your Nikon D5200 and some of the most important kit obviously are your lenses. Now different manufacturers identify different features of their lenses with different initials or abbreviations and so we thought it would be a good idea to go through the most common ones so that you know what to look for when you buy either a Nikon lens or a generic lens for your Nikon camera. The focal length of the lens is signified by the millimetre number on the lens and the larger the number the longer the focal length and therefore the higher the magnification and effectively I guess the further you can see with it. Now the human eye is about 30 millimetres so if you want to see more than that then you want a higher number of focal length. So for example if you were a sports photographer or a bird watcher for that matter, you might have a lens that was 300 or even a thousand millimeters so that you could get really close to the subject or the action and make sure that you get in there and get some close up shots. Now, as well as being a long focal length, if it's a sports lens, it would tend to be very fast. Which brings us on to aperture. Now the aperture of a lens is also known as the F number and the widest aperture of the lens is often shown on the lens and is often used in the description. So if it's a 50mm lens f1.4 then 1.4 is the widest aperture available on that lens. It's not the only one, it will probably go up to f22 but it's the widest aperture and therefore the fastest element of that lens or the fastest it can go. In terms of aperture the bigger the number the smaller the aperture. So again, a sports lens, if it was a 1000mm and a 2.8 or f2.8, it would be a very long and very fast lens and that would enable the photographer to keep up with the action by maintaining a high shutter speed so that he could freeze the action and there'd be less blur. Now, some of the abbreviations. DX means that the lens is built for DX cameras like the D3000 series, the D5000 series or the D7000 series. They tend to be smaller and lighter than FX lenses and the focal length doesn't change when you put it onto a DX camera. Now this is important because if you have an FX lens and you put it onto a DX camera there's a multiplication of that focal length by 1.5 so if you put a 50mm lens on it becomes a 75mm lens. If it's a DX lens and you put it on a DX camera, then a 50mm lens stays at 50mm. And that's why the DX uh, abbreviation is important to look out for. IF means internal focus. And this means that the front of the lens doesn't move. And that means that you can attach filters to the lens. So you can either put clear filters on to, the, to protect the lens, or polarizers or ND filters, which will change the kind of light that goes in through the lens and therefore obviously change the type of pictures that you can take with it. ED means extra low dispersion. This is supposed to reduce the amount of chromatic aberration which you can see particularly in wider lenses. Chromatic aberration is the blue to red tinge you can sometimes see on the edge of pictures uh, or the edge of the subject in pictures, hard edges in particular, when you blow the pictures up. So ED is supposed to reduce that effect. AFS means autofocus and this is really important if you have a D3000 or D5000 camera because those cameras don't have internal motors. So if you want your lens to have autofocus then the lens has to have the motor because the body doesn't. So it's always important if you've got a D3000 series or D5000 series camera that you have an autofocus lens with an, in, with an inbuilt internal motor. Now as well as AFS, they might also have the initials SWM for silent wave motor. And that just means that it's a slightly more modern, slightly more video friendly uh, type of lens which has a quieter internal motor. But either way, if you have a D5200, you really are looking for an AFS or an SWM lens so that you don't have to manually focus. VR 
means vibration reduction and that means that the lens is designed to reduce the effects of camera shake and that's very useful if you're going to be doing handheld photography in low light or if it's a particularly large lens because they're obviously quite difficult to keep steady. Now this is an automatic function which means that it will uh, apply to your pictures regardless of how much camera shake there is. Uh, so it's very important to remember that if you're going to put this then onto a tripod you should turn this function off because if it's on a tripod and therefore very steady the lens itself if it's switched onto VR will actually compensate for a blur that's not there and sort of counterintuitively will put blur into your picture. So always remember that if you're on a tripod, switch VR off. Now there are plenty of generic lenses available for your Nikon camera and they have different abbreviations. So here are the abbreviations that the two largest uh, generic lens manufacturers use and they're for Sigma and Tamron. Take a look through them and I hope that was useful.